Today I will show you how to make this VHS effect. Alright guys, so here I have a clip from the one and only Ghost Killer music video. The first thing we want to do is go to the quality resolution here and make it deferred. This is just gonna make it a bit more damaged and more VHS. And now we can press Ctrl Y to make a new adjustment layer. And let's start adding effects. So the first effect we can add is S Shape. This requires the Sapphire plugin, but you should really have it. Let's turn on the motion blur. Let's go to amplitude and make it to 0.05. Sometimes 0.05 is actually too low, so you might want to make it to 0.1 even or a bit lower but it depends on you you know and now let's add a plugin called signal now this is very important for this look so now let's go to luma modulation here and turn off the tape errors and also to turn on and off and now let's go to cutoff filter and here we just want to turn it up a lot the exact amount is eight four seven eight eight so this is the amount that i like to have and i'll also make the luma mo noise to a bit higher to like seven i just want to have it noisy but you can actually turn off the noise if it doesn't look vhs to you and also I sometimes like to make the chroma loss just a bit higher to like 0.32 but you don't need to change it if you want. Okay now let's add S grain although you can not add S grain and add add grain there's an effect called like that and that would require no plugins but this does require the software plugin. And here I like to make the color frequency to 142. Now let's add S warp waves. I like to make the amplitude to really low here to 0.005 and i like to make the frequency very high to like 200 and the angle to not minus 45 but minus 90 so we get these like cool edges and the last effect i like to add here for detail is levels and i like to make the levels to 15 although you can make it lower or higher i just want to make it a bit darker that's what i really like about this and now we can save this as a preset so we can go to one of the effects press ctrl a go to animation save animation preset vhs preset I also add third because of the third quality. Also, I just misspelled that. Yeah, third uh, because of third quality. Although you can make the quality even lower or higher, but I don't recommend making the quality higher on this because VHSs are low quality. To make it a bit look more like a VHS, let's press Ctrl Y again and add motion tile. Although you could have added this on the effect. And I like to make the output width to 75, but you don't need this, but I really like how this looks and it makes it look like actual VHS. Of course, there's a lot of adjustments you can make. You just have to mess around here yourself. I will make more tutorials on VHS in the future. So be on the lookout for those. Uh, but if you actually want to render this out, uh, you will need to select the part of your video that you want to render. And I would go to composition, add to render queue. And here you need to actually make the resolution to third because we made it deferred or whatever it is for you and go to lossless here and and make it to resize and then render it out and then you can uh, watch the video in full quality but it will still be damaged and there are also different ways you can for example like change the composition settings to three times lower so the width would be like 720 i'm pretty sure that would also work pretty well also if you want to enhance this look a bit more we can add some of the effects from my opium pieces pack i can show you some of the effects right here and mixed with this look so if you type opium you will actually see 50 plus pieces if you have the pack and you can for example add like opium free below this clip and look how it will look it will be like very damaged for example you can make it to half if you don't want it that damaged and it will look like this or you can make it to full it will look like this this is one of the coolest looks you can get i think with effects in after effects yeah this look with opium free and you can mess around with a lot of other tees and i also have a five dollar discount code for the opium presets pack which is called povicas use it to save five dollars off on the opium presets pack but anyways it was fun have a fun and productive day see ya